mágico So, Usher dropped off new track entitled Boyfriend at the Weekend And I must say, it's a messy track The video highly features entertainer Kiki Palmer Who as we know, probably about a month ago <laughs> Attended Usher's concert at his Las Vegas residency Where it stirred up a lot of controversy between her and the father of her child He deemed it inappropriate she did not see it that way so let's just jump into the track track is what we'll consider contemporary r&b of today it's bouncy has a nice little bass line i heard a groovy little guitar towards the latter half of the track so that was indeed a relieving addition because the track does feel a little lackluster it just does not necessarily feel as genuine as you'd as you'd expect an usher track to sound it just kind of feels or falls into that lane of mediocre earworm it does have a nice hook though i must admit but those verses are pretty forgettable it won't be sticking around long in terms of longevity but you kind of get that this track is solely aimed at profiting off of the whole controversy that surrounded the Las Vegas incident that's what I'm going to term it the Las Vegas incident right so diving into the track it's really a track where Usher is the third person in a relationship between Kiki we're going to use Kiki here as she is the leading lady in this video and he's pretty much the, the side dude so it's a concept that we've heard a lot is it done the best on this this time not quite it's actually a bit distasteful i must i must admit i just feel like this was an unnecessary situation and everything doesn't necessarily need to be capitalized off of so it was interesting to see usher decide to take on something like this although he has been known to you know I shall sing about the real stuff that actually take place within his life or actually I mean Confessions was really a lot of real life stuff so him putting it out there expressing it through his art I can really appreciate the idea of doing that and I also do understand they're both entertainers they have a big moment they're making the most of it it's gonna benefit them both I get that from an entertainment standpoint but the touchy part now becomes the fact that there is a child involved and there is a family involved I want to say like like she is together with this guy that's actually the parent the second parent in their child's life right so it just felt pretty weird if he expressed that that was a boundary why she decides to still ignore that i mean i'm not geared at giving anyone advice or even my opinion on that so i don't necessarily want to delve too much into that side of things however it just feels like this is something that's being blown out of proportion and they're feeding into the whole narrative of her not caring or living her best life regardless of what his feelings may be towards what happened and I don't necessarily have a, a defining opinion on whether I think what happened was good or bad or whose side to choose I just feel as if this just was something that should have left been left buried if you get what I mean the video opens with Kiki from her point of view her lip in lip singing Usher is verse and I want to say it did come off a little fun there was a little smile on my face for the first portion of the video then usher makes his appearance you know the r&b dudes gotta be shirtless gotta be staring in the mirror so that was a nice little addition it was tasteful and then i want to say the video was shot in vegas because the casino was involved there was gambling although it wasn't the main focus of the video really I think my favorite portion was when Kiki, 
when she um was mimicking Usher's likeness, especially in her outfit. Yeah, she was basically just wearing something that was definitely just ripped from Usher's wardrobe. I just think that was fun. It was a nice little moment. They had a small little dance break. It wasn't anything memorable, especially coming off of how we rolled by Ciara and Chris. But I get that this wasn't necessarily geared up to be like the record. It was just kind of like a capitalizing off of a big moment. Getting more into the track. My issue with the track arises when you get into the lyrical content. I feel like Usher is like in his mid 40s now, so it just feels a bit out of place for him to make a record like this. I just feel like it's not the type of grown contemporary R&B that I constantly got from him over the past few years because he's released some really great tracks over the past few years that I feel just went under the radar for weird reasons. I just feel like Usher is that artist. He's that legend that does not get the type of support that he should be getting and really should be getting really he should be getting the Beyonce level treatment. I just when you look at records like Don't Waste My Time that was with LME and Bad Habits, I just feel like those were superb records. I think Sex Beat with the Lovers and Friends team was kind of like a wasn't so great. Then he came back with Good Good and Good Good. I kind of like the sentiment of Good Good. I feel like it was a little more mature in content, so I'm not faulting him for making a, a fun record. I'm just saying that if he's gearing up to release a project, I hope he stays more into his adult com- contemporary back. So overall, I just think like it just has to get like a 6.5 out of 10 lyrically, as it's not awful, but it's definitely not memorable or really mature for that fact so fun video in some instances but i think the what what really was distasteful though was the very end when she directly references i think the comments that her partner had made publicly it's it's a scenario where you wonder her constantly addressing it publicly what does that do for them as a family? Weird scenario that. But overall, do you think that Usher and Kiki are totally justified in releasing this track? Do you think it was indeed a messy and distasteful scenario? I'm kind of on the fence because I'm trying to play devil's advocate and see where both parties are coming from. But I just feel like sometimes you do not mix business when it comes to your real life relationships like you do not let those intertwine to cause a lot of friction so that is where i'm at overall i'm looking forward to whatever project usher has coming out and i do wish both these artists our entertainers the very best in the future i hope this i think this track will get some replay value just based off of the whole situation that's one and two, based off the fact that the hook is actually pretty catchy. Well, yeah, I think this might actually chart on the Hot 100, and I'm not entirely mad at it. I mean, if you're gonna do something like this, it's best you do it and be successful at it. So, that's my two cents.